Kalado, Aki, sweet potato, yam, banana, and tomato, cabbage, spinach, avocado, chow chow, butter, bean, and cocoa, courgette, millet, plantain, rice and peas and pumpkin, mango, dates and guava, chickpeas and cassava. It is Sunday now, and uh, Norway is one of the few countries where stores are not open on Sundays. And uh, I didn't actually reach these stores before uh, it was too late. I just didn't look at the time that day. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and now I'm actually going to go uh, up to uh, the uh, cafe up here, see if I can get the vegan burger or something like that. I've seen this post many times and uh, it said that girls should be allowed to decide for what they do with their own bodies. And you may uh, now know that uh, this was all about abortion. And I think I have a very isolated view on abortion. Oh, and now this attacking me. Um, uh, and the thing that I think about abortion is not black nor white. And it seems like if you, if you have a black view on abortion, then 50% of the population is going to hate you. If you have a white view on abortion, the other 50% is going to hate you. There is like no grey area in between at all. Before I start explaining, I should probably have some disclaimers so that you don't get too upset. I'm not against abortion exist. However... Oh, sorry. I'm not against active death treatment either. Uh, I should. I think they should be on the baseline of both of them. I know that abortion is the best solution in many cases. No doubt about it. This is not what it's all about. My viewpoint comes from what happens before. And I'm not necessarily talking about prevention either. I mean, there exist um, ways that are quite safe. And yeah, it's a bliss that I do exist. I'm not against prevention either. The only problem I have is when people cannot take the responsibility of that things can actually happen. And I mean, my view on this, if you have intercourse, you should take the responsibility that comes with it. And in my opinion, there's nothing called accident. I mean, if you have intercourse, intercourse is for reproduction, without a doubt. And then said, they say like, but uh, people should be allowed to choose uh, if they want to do it. And yes, the only thing that I say is that you should be prepared that things should happen. And you shouldn't be too surprised. And if it happens, well, you need to make sure that you have the ability to, to um, act in the best way possible around that. And th this is where most people get confused, actually. The best example is my brother told me so many times that no, he's, he's the safest that it, that it can ever be. Uh, he said to me that he's using condom and he makes sure that the girl is, is also on prevention. I'm talking prevention pills. And then it can almost never happen. And in a week or so, my brother's gonna have a baby. And they, I don't care what people say, no matter how much prevention, it can actually happen. And when people are not open to this, they shouldn't have intercourse. I mean, there are many different types of sex that, that you can perform, that does not uh, actually come into reproduction. The body does not aim for penetration, the body aims for orgasms. And when people don't even realize this, I just wonder, why are they so stupid? And I feel like I am actually talking sense right now. But yet, so many people come to me and they say such as that they bring up abortion instead. But I'm not talking about abortion. I'm talking about before abortion, what should actually be done. And I'm, I'm not actually getting the answers for the question, really. And when they understand me, they only come with you should respect people for their views. But I'm not there to respect any views, I'm there to get answers. And I don't think there exist any good answers for this. Because I know that people want sex. 
that's the only thing that I can get out of it. People want sex and they want it no matter what, so um, I just don't know. And uh, I think I have a very good valid point on this. I mean, I don't get anywhere with it. Me personally, I have actually never, like, vaginally penetrated any girl for the reason that I don't feel responsible. I'm thinking of getting a vasectomy myself. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet, actually. Um, but then again, I don't want to attend intercourse because I don't feel ready to have a baby. Maybe it's because I'm demisexual, there could be other reasons as well. I just want your point of view on this. If you can make sense out of this at all. I mean, like, it's not a necessity to survive. Well, it is for a survival in the long run, but with a population of 7 billion. That's off my chest now, and what a beautiful day. The only negative is that they have taken down this entire forested area. Looks quite bad from what I'm used to. It used to be like full on, but I like the openness as well. It's just that I don't like them to cut down any more forest. I've just eaten a squash burger, and if you've seen my videos up at the Lofoten Islands, I don't need to show you this burger because there's more than one video of me eating that. This is a cake raw and uh, this is also vegan I have no idea how that tastes hmm I've actually never tasted anything like it hmm not ever but uh, let's see this cake These cakes are so delicious. <laughs> mm. Aftertaste as well is also very good.